at Home Edition, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan back at it again. What's going on? Hi, friends. How's your week treating you? I'm liking your little white jean jacket. It's a new purchase. I do like it. Unlike the Moo Moo, which was not a good purchase, this, I believe, is going to be a summer staple. I'm very excited about it. Thank you very much. I love it. I thought um, I would strike gold with some online shopping. I have not uh, done that. And I have some essentials that need to be replaced. And um, I have them all in boxes having to go back. But then I don't want to go to the, the po I don't want to go to the mail place to send it back, but I'm going to go. You know what? Speaking of the mail, I too have some things that I need to ship out. I've been waiting because again, same, not really feeling like I want to venture into that world, but I found- It feels like an extra, like an extra going there. It's not like going to the grocery store. It's going, you know, yeah. Well, at least they have the self-serve kiosk and I feel like I could do everything that I need to do at the self-serve kiosk. Good point. So I think I'd be okay. But I saw this, it is the cutest story. Um, there was a little girl, she loves to write letters. And she sent them out. She always sends them with like very uh, floral design on the envelope. And she has like 12 different pen pals. And it dawned on her that her mail carrier was really her lifeline. And so she wrote him a letter that said, uh, thank you. I know, right? I know. It's already tear jerk. Um, thank you so much. I am, I think she's nine or 10. I don't have a phone. So if it weren't for you, I would have no way of keeping in touch with all of my friends. And she told him some jokes in the letter and just told him how wonderful he was. Well, he passed it on to his supervisor who then passed it on to the next level up. Needless to say, this little girl has now been flooded with letters from other postal workers, from other people in the USPS saying thank you for writing and saying that we are essential to keep you in contact with your friends. And just like, it's just this real feel good story and it's gone viral and it's so cute. That is so lovely. So after that wave of feeling that loveliness for that fantastic human, then I feel like the failure because <laughs> Getting my kids to put pen to a piece of paper. For the I trick, mean, I have a trick. Uh, this is this is the trick. I found found beatings. What? Further down the line, um, I found I had an old calligraphy set, and I gave it to Reese. And so now she's all into trying to write calligraphy and making it very pretty. And do you remember we had this sweet, sweet lady that came on that does like hand lettering and she gave us that book. It was beautiful. So she's been playing with that. Hey, with happy letters or something. So she's been playing with those things. So there, you just gotta, you know, give them some fun pins or something. That's what I need. Look, listen. Let me let, let you in on a little secret. It doesn't matter in my house. No one's doing it. That no one wants to do anything. It's just like I have to force everybody. Forced reading, forced writing, forced schoolwork. I've got pens. I got pens coming out of my ears. I've got that happy writing book. I put it out. I've shown it. I'm there with you. I listen. When we. I'm a failure. Failing. No, no, you're not. You know what? It's fine. I'm actually not that worked up about it. I'm like, <laughs> I did, I tried. At the acceptance phase. I will say wonderful, wonderful little advice from um, one of Reese's sweet teachers. They've been doing phone calls and, and she called and, and we were talking and Reese said, you know, I'm a little nervous because I'm going into middle school and I feel like we're not going to be ready. And she said, don't worry, everyone is coming in and everyone has lost this semester. Everybody's on the same playing field. So she said, don't even worry about it. Everyone is exactly where you are right now. So that made her feel better. That made me feel better. I was like, yeah, that means go outside and play. Don't worry about that schoolwork. It's fine. It's fine. Is Reese so, uh, who's, who's more upset? Reese or you 
about the end of elementary school activities that are not happening. Because that's a big deal when you go leave elementary school to go to middle school. Me, for sure. For sure. Like the fifth grade graduation isn't happening. And, you know, just the whole we're going to pick up all the things at the school. And, and it just, it goes by so fast. And it's like, oh my gosh, she had her last recess and didn't know that was her last recess. I was thinking to myself um, last night as I was doing, looking up stuff, research, you know, on the computer, which I do a lot. And they're usually dreams or aspirations or things that could be attainable, but I'm not sure about cost or thing, you know, whatever. Anyway, and then I started thinking to myself on how many hours I probably spend with this whole dream search of Googling and checking things out and researching. How much would this cost? How much would that cost? What are the pros? What are the cons? And it occurred to me, it's not really even acquiring those things. I just think I like having that quiet time where I'm dreaming, but I'm dreaming in like a totally different way. I'm you know, getting like, oh, well, what if we wanted to do this to the house? And, you know, I look it up and look at, gosh, I'll start following something on Instagram and all the different ways to design it. And are we ever going to do that? No, probably not. But for some reason, I just enjoy hunting around for things I probably won't get. Is that so weird? Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely right on. And you know, it's funny, Kristen Bell says that she shops online and she just, the act of putting things into the shopping cart, she doesn't even buy it. She doesn't even buy it. It's just the act of looking at it, saying you like it, putting it in the cart, saying you like it, putting it in the cart. And then she just kind of leaves the cart, abandons the cart. I mean, that's the equivalent of going into Target and filling up your cart with stuff you like and then just pushing it off to the side and walking out. It's kind of nice. I've definitely done that. You know I've done that so many times. Listen, friends, we have all the things lined up for you. You can just sit back and enjoy. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to put anything in the cart. Just hang on, because Today in Nashville is coming right back after this.